Hey there, I'm pretty sure you've heard the song. Let me show you how to make the drum pattern in FL Studio. So the first one to do is set the tempo. Now this is the Afro swing genre and it's typically between 90 to 105 and sometimes even go as high as 110 BPM. But let's use 98. I'm going to right click, type in value 98. You can use any number within the range and you should arrive at similar results. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is pick out sounds from the Teflon Afro swing drum kit, which you can get from our website, sctutorials.com. So I'm going to come right here to the one shot and I'm going to come to the rims. I'm going to bring this right here and now to play the foundation pattern that is the most common pattern you hear in most afro swing tracks i'm going to click right here then click right here and this is how it sounds nice next time we to this layer it up so i'm going to use this and then place it underneath it Then next, I'm going to add a kick pattern. But first, let's extend this rhythm because with Afro Swing, you want your drums to have a little bit of variation. So I'm going to extend this right here, then extend this right here as well. Then I'm going to have the kick. You can use any of the kicks and the packs and you still have a good result. So I'm going to click this right here, then click this right here. And then another one right here. Now you can add some extra kicks to make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to use a different kick for this. So for this, I'll be using this kick. So I'm going to have this right here, then have this right here. Reduce the volume. Then for percussions, I'm going to come to the perk folder and then use this drag and drop right here. And I'm going to layer it up a little bit with the rim shots. So I'm going to drop this here. Then I'm going to have another percussion, drag and drop right here, and then have it somewhere here. The, the key for playing your percussion is I want to dodge your kick as much as possible, okay? Then now, this is a guide, not a rule. Let's turn off the loop points. Whenever you have issues with samples like this, just turn off the loop points and you should be good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with the pitch. This can help create some variations or excitement in your drums. So I'm going to come to this pitch right here, drop it down. Let's drop it down to about, let's say 300 cents. And here it sounds. Make, it, make sure it's stretch mode. We can also do the same for this guy and drop it some cents. They will add an extra percussion. Now, there's no limit to how many percussions you can add, but out my typical recommendation is between one to three different percussions, again, to have that variation. So I just have it here again. Again, I'm dodging the kick. The next thing I'm going to do is add a open heart. I'm going to come to the hearts right here, the open heart. I'm going to come right here and play some simple patterns. Click one here. Then click another one here and another one here. If you feel like your open heart is running too far, like you want to control it, you can simply come in here and fade it out. Okay. So again, I want to be in stretch mode. Next, I'm going to do is add a hi hat. Okay. So I'm going to come to the hi hats. I'm going to come right here. Then I'm going to open the piano roll and I'm going to play a simple pattern. Make sure you are in quarter beats. Drag and drop in here. Then duplicate. Let's make this bigger so you can see. Then duplicate with command B or control B. And this side should look like. But we're going to tweak this. Okay. So I'm going to reduce the volume. First, what we're going to do is highlight each of these notes. You can pick it in any sequence, but I'm going to use this sequence and then pitch it down. Then I'm going to reduce the velocity. So I simply press Alt and X, X for X main, and then reduce this right here. You can adjust this to the level you want, okay? Okay. 
And you can also just come to this global pitch knob right here for the sound and reduce it. Then let's bring in a second hi hat so I can do like some hi hat rolls in here. Typically, you want to bring in a different sounding hi hat so it doesn't clash with your existing hi hat. Let's use this instead. Perfect. So to create the hi hat rolls, it's real simple. I'm going to come right here. Let's place one here, then highlight it, then press alternate and U in Windows or Option and U in MacBook. So I'm going to come right here. Then so you could have that vibe or you could make it be smaller. Nice. But for this other half, I'm going to make it different. So again, it sounds, you know, less repetitive. So I'm going to maybe make it bigger. The next I'm going to do is play with the velocity. So I'm going to come right here. And then again, velocity. Then I'm going to also play with the pitch. Click this drop down. Then come to notes, find pitch. And I'm going to just drag it down a little bit and drag this down a little bit as well. And just like that, you've made your own Afro swing or dance hall drum pattern. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. I remain so classy. Cheers.